good. There are blacksmiths, those who work with iron, out of a fire and pound it on an anvil. And then there are horseshoers, those who trim horses' feet and nail shoes on. There are horseshoers that know nothing about blacksmithing, and there are a lot of blacksmiths that know nothing about horseshoe. I call myself a blacksmith horseshoer because I still put the two together the way they originally developed. Just gotta undo your shoelaces. This horse hasn't been shod a real long time. The shoes are worn out and it's getting ready to go into the mountains. It needs a new sturdy pair of shoes. As a boy, I inherited my grandfather's anvil. I started using that anvil to shape machine-made shoes and then neighbors saw that I could do that and they asked me to do theirs. And Finally, a horse trainer took me under his wing and he encouraged me to put the blacksmithing with the horseshoeing. There's science to it and you take some measurements but a lot of it has to be done just with hand-eye coordination. I knew basically what that foot looked like because I had just had it in my hands and if I have it in my hands then I can reproduce a shoe that's going to come pretty darn close to fitting it. By scorching it, we can tell where the shoe's touching. We're sealing off the end of the foot where it's been trimmed, and there's a perfect match between them. When I make a horseshoe and I go over there and it fits properly on the horse, and you can nail it up easily, I love that. Good. Puts a piece of coal rust in there. Good. Good. No, fits. It gives you a strong tool. And when this is cool, that'll slide down in a little bit further and it'll be really tight. These hammers were made by punching a hole like that in a chunk of steel. In trimming the feet, you need nippers. These were made out of a coil spring from somebody's vehicle. The hoof pick for cleaning out the feet is half of an old horseshoe. The knife was forged from a dump rake tooth from the old hay rakes. But like the old Scotsman says, we buy rasps, but we could make them if we had to, but we just as soon not. We buy our nails. We could make them too, but it's a lot of work when they make a pretty good nail. I wouldn't do away with machines or modern technology, not at all. Those are just more tools that can help us. I just love to do some of the things the traditional way. Sometimes I think I've invented something new and then I find that somebody 200 years ago was already doing the same thing. I just love to see a piece of iron turn into something useful.